Warning, the following presentation is meant for entertainment purposes only. The information provided in this video could be inaccurate. Because sometimes I mess things up, okay? Sometimes I forget things and I don't remember everything. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Hello, I am Miraculin and my neighbors are listening to German hip hop and it's bothering me. All right, this is my human history 101 introduction class course crash course let's play minecraft edition and this is episode two where i will be continuing talking about the paleolithic times i was hoping to finish that in the last episode but i had a little bit of an accident oh So after the incident, I have made some changes and I have fixed something. Let me give you the grand tour. Come along. So I have made a little bit of a Paleolithic settlement site, but it's important to note that like people did not build things out of wood like this. It's not permanent settlements like this stuff. I did what I can with the stuff in Minecraft and I tried to make a TP. It does not look like that at all. Uh, it also has a door, but I had to because of the incident and I felt safer sleeping in here. I also fixed my, uh, my hut and I made some changes in the cave. The last time I talked about how caves were used for a lot of spiritualistic stuff spiritual spiritual and ritualistic stuff i'm sorry english is not my native language okay so there was a lot of cave art cave paintings and i have spruced the place up a little bit and cave paintings is a great insight into what people thought about and what they were doing what how they saw the world you know Fun fact, a lot of paintings are found deep, deep down inside of like dark cave systems. And something really weird happens to your brain when you're in a deep, dark cave. You can't see anything and you can't really hear that well because of how the caves are structured, the sound kind of echoes. And our brains are very, they need to know where sound comes from, what, what's around them. And when all your senses is kind of messed all up, you, you go crazy. It's comparable to being high on psychedelics, like LSD and, and mushrooms or whatever. They probably also ate a lot of mushrooms. So it, it was believed that a lot of people of importance would go down into these caves, like shamans or wise men or women or whatever, and they would sit there for days just painting. You can see in some paintings that they clearly thought that some humans could turn into animals so they had an idea of spirituality religion and animals it was tied together also i want to make a correction about how i said fire was discovered about 1.72 million years ago which is it's not wrong but it's not i think i need to clarify a little bit about what i meant so fire occurred randomly and and would occur all the time, like lightning strikes some dry grass and it would catch on fire. And it has been found evidence that humans were using this fire many years, maybe like a million years ago, 1.7. It's, we don't know when, but if you think about, and I did say that's when we kind of like discovered fire, but humans learned how to control it maybe around 300,000 years ago. I forgot. So I also wanted to give a general overview of a little thing before I continue. And that is the human lineage. When it comes to evolution, everything moves in a line, right? You have, this is where you began and here are we, homo sapiens. That's who we are. We're at the, the end here. But there had to happen a lot of stuff before we came to this part. We started off as just apes, right? And at some point in this line, the ape 
diverged, as we say, which means that they just split off into branches like a tree. And it diverged, and one part went to become chimps and bonobos, and the other part are us. But there's a lot of us, alright? And I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I made an interactive helping tool. <laughs> Solanthropus chadensis, one of the first early ancestors that we know of. And this one was believed to walk partly on two legs. We call it bipedalism. The reason... Who's burning up? The reason we know that they walk on two legs is that we found a part of their cranium and you can see where the spine comes out from the cranium and it goes in a spe specific direction when you know that someone's walking upright. Uh, but we don't know much about this one. And there's probably, there's lots before that in the middle of all of these. It's just, these are some of the ones that we found. And if you move along, this is the one that's most accepted, that Homo habilis is the one that we found with tools. And habilis means handyman. And if you're giggling because I'm saying homo all the time, get it out now. I'll give you a moment because I'm going to say it a lot more. Take your time. Okay, so we move along, Homo habilis comes along, and then I gave you a moment to laugh. If you're under the age of 13, I understand that you can't contain yourself, but just, you know. Homo erectus. Okay, thank you. And we come towards the end. Here's Homo sapiens, which is us. And there are, you see that these kind of, all of these signs are kind of on the same line. This one's a little further along. So Homo neanderthalis, which is like Homo neanderthalensis, the Neanderthals. You got Homo florens, uh, florensiensis, Heidelbergensis, blah, 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 blah. They all kind of exist at the same time. So it's, it's a big tree and all the branches are going all wild and some of them exist at the same time, some of them banged each other, looking at you, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. And so it's really, really messy. So I'm not gonna go into further detail about that, because I could, and if I stay up here more, I will. But there's lots of them, and if ever people are watching and they're interested, I will talk about that another time in another game. Yum. All right, all that stuff is out of the way and I am free to live my life as a Paleolithic man. I will probably actually go uh, hunt a little and find some more leather. I was thinking that you know, the game gets really hard if I don't have any armor on. <laughs> the thing is, though, that early folks weren't really wearing clothes, and they weren't stitching together leather to wear. Um, not yet, at least. I'm feeling slightly underwhelmed by this shitty location. And I think... Oh! What, the, what is happening? I think I'm gonna just uh, pack up and leave. <sighs> Being a Paleolithic person is boring. You just wander around. Oh, trying to find a place to live. What the fuck? What's that sound? That's like a person, isn't it? Is that a llama dude? Pretend I didn't see that. You know what? Actually, maybe I did see a little bit of Simpson. Sorry, forgive me, please. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. Cow. So many of them. Come back here. I'm just gonna make myself a little cave again. I also, like, if I find diamonds and stuff, I will take it. Uh, 
other stuff I will ignore for now because I am uh, not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna cheat. We gotta follow this through from beginning to end. I'm not gonna be like, ooh, suddenly I have whatever. All right, it is a new morning, a new day. I have on a hat. That was all I could do right now. Uh, but, but hey, it's a start. And I think I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to start on like Mesolithic times and stuff. In this, it will be too much stuff going on. If you do like it, please like and subscribe so I can continue doing this i really like it it's fun it's fun to use the stuff that i learned over the years for something cool and i like playing video games okay that's all i want to do with my life my mom said it couldn't be done i have to stop playing all these video games and grow up alas mother you were wrong maybe maybe if you subscribe she'll be wrong please 